guys, it's Court Marie here. Thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. Um, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And um, today I'm going to be doing another story time video. I know that you guys like story times. So I'm going to be doing another one. If you haven't already, you can check out my Nicki Minaj makeup tutorial, which I'll put right here. And if you haven't already seen the time I got or almost got arrested, then you can watch it right here. So remember to check out those videos. If you guys want to know about the time that I got into a fight at the club, then keep on watching this video. Alright, so about a week and a half ago, Aaron and I, which Aaron is my boyfriend, we went to go to California in Los Angeles to go, basically just to go on vacation to hang out. And we were also going to see Kevin Gates, which is a rapper, at a um, club in Hollywood. So he was there and we went to go see him. So we were, we just had a great time. Like we went to Santa Monica Beach, we went to Venice Beach, everything was all good. Even though we got stuck there for some extra days, we had a really good time. So on this day, it was a Thursday night, we were on our way to go see him, everything was fine. We got to the club. It was extremely packed. There was so many people because people were standing outside like telling people, hey, like Kevin Gates is here, go see him, blah, blah, blah. So there was a lot of people, it was super packed, everyone was really excited to um, get to see Kevin Gates. And we were excited too, of course. And um, since it's a club, they were also playing music. He wasn't really, I guess, performing. It wasn't like a concert, but he was making an appearance. And so even though he did like perform, I'll get into all that, but yeah. It was just an appearance. So there was other music playing, people were dancing or whatever. So we got in, we got on the dance floor, we were dancing, having a super good time and everything. And if you guys see in my other videos, you see my hair is like curly sometimes, but now it's straight. But it's like out to here and like very curly or whatever. And it was super packed. So all of a sudden, I, w I felt like somebody like pushed my head. And like I wasn't sure. I was like, okay, am I tripping? Like did somebody just touch my hair? Because I don't like to be touched if I don't know the person. But it was really packed. So I was like, oh, maybe somebody just did that by mistake. Then, all of a sudden, like, I felt it again. And I still, like, didn't really react because I was dancing. I was having a good time. But then, all of a sudden, I felt somebody do this again. Like, like as in, like, pushing my hair. But they were pushing my hair, like, to, to hard enough where I could, like, feel them touching my head. So, I turn around. And this girl is, like, looking at me, and I was like, um, like, is there a problem? Like, excuse me, yes, like, can I help you? And the girl is like, your hair is so big, it's getting in my face. And I'm like, okay, well, if my hair is big and it's getting in your face, then you need to go ahead and tell me and let me know my hair is getting in your face. Like, don't, don't touch me. Don't put your hands on me because you don't know me. Now, I don't think that I kind of have a... I don't have a temper or anything, but if someone's messing with me, I definitely don't like put up with it and I definitely will like say how I feel about it and I'm not one to just like let someone talk down upon me. So if somebody's talking down to me, like I'll I'll keep going and like my mom always says like that's not a good thing to do, but I can't help it. Like if somebody's making me feel dumb or stupid and on top of that Aaron's dancing I'm talking to her she has like three other girlfriends with her and like I'm talking to her and she's like trying to make me look stupid so I just keep on going so I'm like you know I don't really care why why you're touching me you don't need to touch me at all and if you have a problem with my hair you let me know and I'll I'll move my hair out of your way but don't put your hands on me and I said I let you do it three times and you kept doing and kept doing it and that's why I'm saying something to you now and she's like well your hair is in my face blah, blah blah that's all she kept saying your hair is in my face well your hair was in my face well, okay well I know my hair was in your face that we already have clarified that what I'm telling you is don't put your hands on my hair 
and you know she like was just kept saying like okay but your hair is in my face so i got up to her next to her ear because i'm like okay clearly this girl cannot hear me she can't hear what i'm saying like something something's not processing through this girl's head so i got up next to her ear and i'm like i heard you the first time but don't put your hands on me so <laughs> When I did that, she kept trying to to argue or whatever, and she took like one hand and she kind of like shoved me. And when she took one hand and shoved me, you know, I try not to get into a fight if it's not necessary because I've never really been in a fight and I just feel like sometimes it's not necessary to get into a fight especially if like there's a chance you can get arrested or there's security or there are police like what's the point in like doing that you know and the girl kind of like shoved me with one hand well like I barely move like and people always see me and they see I'm so like thin and I'm kind of like small and they think oh like you know like maybe I can punk her around or like but no like I'm very strong and and you know no that's not gonna happen so when the girl shoved me with her one hand, like, I, like, barely really moved. But it still pissed me off because why are you touching me, period. So I took both my hands and I shoved her back. And she, like, bumped into another person because I shoved her back. And when I shoved the girl back, she tried to, like, take her fist and swing at me. But I kind of, like, moved out of the way so she didn't do it. Or so she couldn't hit me or whatever. Which was a shock because like I thought that she would probably punch me in my face but she didn't. And so whenever she went to do that I swung and I punched her in her face. Because girl you're not about to swing at me like what is this? Like are you that mad over the fact that like my hair was in your face? Like are you that upset honestly? It's, it's not even that deep for real. And so when that happened like honestly after I hit her like I didn't like straight up go bam and like hit her in her face but I did like my fist made contact with her face and clearly like she got the gist of like I'm not scared of you don't try and touch me because I don't put up with that stuff and you know like whenever you're in a different state you can tell different like personalities of people like the people in my city if that stuff would have went down like those people would have straight up been fighting maybe where she's from you know they just do things to intimidate other people and then you know it's kind of over and done with but like no you're not going to intimidate me so i just let her know and i'm surprised like her friends didn't jump into it or like interrupt or do anything like that because that's normally what girls do like some girls do that but no after that she just like was like, you know what, just get away from me. I was like, then don't talk to me, don't touch my hair again, and don't say smart nothing to me. Like, don't talk smart to me because I don't put up with that kind of stuff. And, you know, I just turned around, I just kept on dancing, and after that, like, nothing else happened. Kevin Gates came out, it was a good night, but people was, like, shoving, and, like, it was very, very congested and just... But the awesome part is that I got to touch Kevin Gates' hand... And my boyfriend Aaron, he like touched his leg, but the security guard kicked Aaron because he touched Kevin Gates' leg. And apparently, Kevin Gates doesn't like his legs to be touched because I don't know if you guys heard about that one time, but this fan, this girl that was a fan, she like touched, was grabbing his leg and he like kicked her in her face. So I don't know why Aaron would grab his leg, but yeah i got to touch his hand and i'm not like a huge kevin gates fan but you know like whenever a celebrity is around or something you just get super excited because everybody else around you is excited so yeah i got to touch his hand i was super excited i didn't really let that whole situation with the girl touching my hair ruin my night or bother me or anything like that because i still had a great time and even though like i said we got stuck in california for a few extra days um it was okay because we still enjoyed ourselves we Went to the beach, did all that stuff, got to see Kevin Gates, and I don't know where that girl is now, but <laughs> I, I'm sure that in the future she'll remember never to do something like that again. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this story time video. I try to make it as short as possible. Not all of my story times are super interesting or super, you know, 
energy packed or whatever action packed but that was the truth about what happened and sorry if it was kind of boring or kind of short but that's just simply the story but if you did like this video remember to give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to me i have tons of new videos coming up like i said i have my Nicki minaj makeup tutorial that you can watch the one where i almost got arrested and my original story time that's really popular right now which is my mace my racist Mac employee experience. So if you guys want to check those out, just remember to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.